We're going to do the nine inch classic bed now. And this is how it's going to come to you now. It will be wrapped, but I've taken the wrapping off here. So basically we have all the timber that we need and then we have a screw pack here with your instructions in it. So I'm just going to open that up. They're very simple. You almost don't need instructions, but we have them anyway. So we have our instructions and you've got all the screws that you need plus a couple more. So I'm gonna use a pair of scissors here just to cut the plastic strapping. So what you should have are four of these corner posts. You're gonna have two of these shorter lengths of a plank. And then you've got two of the 1.8 meter long ones. I find the easiest way of doing it is to use the short planks first. So we're gonna take two of our corner posts and place them on the ground like that. Place one of the shorter lengths of plank over the corner post here. And what we're trying to do is line it up nice and neatly so it's flush with the end of the plank. Now we take our bag of screws. You can use a screwdriver, but if you, if you have a screw gun or an electric a power screwdriver, it'll be an awful lot quicker. So basically we're gonna place one of our screws in on the edge of the wood. Make sure it's over the corner post like that and don't put it too close to the end of the timber or it can split. Lovely. And then again, make sure that your corner post is nice and flush with the side of your plank. And then one more in the middle. So we're gonna go ahead now and we're gonna do the other side. So that's one of our ends finished. You can see we have the short plank here and you can see on either end then we have our corner posts neatly lined up. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the other one. Okay. One the other side. Again, making sure that you're not going too close to the edge of the timber. And three. Now, so what you should have are two end pieces looking exactly the same like that. And there are short ends to the bed. And now the next thing that we need to do is attach it to the long sections. What we do is we stand up our end board like that and we just butt it up against the long section. And you can see at the corner here again, we've made sure that the timber is flush, flush with the edge and we've got a nice tidy corner. Again, same as the other side, we're gonna use three screws. Now that's it, and that's a very solid corner to the bed. So basically every corner will go together the same way as that. Now I'm gonna show you another one just to make sure, but one, once you've done one, you're really gonna find it very easy. It's butted up nice and tightly to the corner. We have a nice tidy edge there, screwing approximately into the center of the post. Two. So very quickly now, we can see that that's starting to look like our proper nine inch high timber raised bed. Now, any of the nine inch beds, they'll take about half a cubic meter of soil, which is about half of one of our ton bags. That won't fill it right to the top, but you, you're gonna be putting your nine inch beds down on soil or, or, or grass anyway. And then as the years progress, then you need to be adding compost, which will slowly fill it up. But approximately, we're talking about half a bag of soil for these. I mean, this is our, our most basic, really, uh, bed suitable for an allotment. Um, but still perfectly functional. You're probably gonna get six to eight years out of that, but a perfect, uh, our, our best selling and our, our budget bed.